Hey guys, today's movie starts with three alien astronauts stranded in the Sector 666, Planet Riot. After their spacecraft broke down. They start walking on the surface of the planet and suddenly fall down into a hole and see an alien being trapped in a green light. This alien is called Parallax. He was defeated and imprisoned here by a bean sore. They get really scared of it. A yellow energy comes out of Parallax, kills them all, then he liberates himself. Going back to Earth. A child named Hal Jordan talked with his father Martin Jordan, who works as a pilot. Hal gets worried and scared about his father because tomorrow. He will have an air test on a new plane. But his father told him don't worry, in my job you shouldn't feel scared. I will come back home safe like always. The next day. Hal wakes up late, and he starts running, to catch the school bus. Then he visits his father at the airport, and asks for his permission to stay and watch him fly with the new plane. After that, Bob comes and tells Martin, to get ready to fly. Meanwhile, Hal goes to the office and meets with Carol Ferris Bob daughter, and Hector Hammond the son of Senator Robert Hammond. Robert comes and asks Bob, if everything is going to plan. Then Carol asks her father Bob to watch Martin from the airstrip, and he agrees. Both of them descend and start watching. Martin starts to fly the plane, but the tail of the plane explodes. He loses control of the plane and crashes into the control tower and destroys it. But he manages to land the plane on the ground. Hal starts running to see his father, while he was getting off the plane it exploded and he died. Meanwhile, a bean sar was talking with Sinestro, who tell him that Parallax escapes from the lost sector, after consuming the lives of three alien astronauts stranded in the sector. Six months later, after killing four Green Lanterns and destroying two planets, Parallax attacks Sector 2814 and mortally wounds a bean sore, who escapes his ship via an escape pod. Hal Jordan grow up and become a pilot in the same company his father worked in. He wakes up late for a test flight at Ferris Aircraft. Arriving he is confronted by boss Carol Ferris. She tries to make him realize the importance of the test, and she reminded him that the company really needs this contract. During the test flight against the U Cavs Hal uses Carol, who is also flying as a decoy, so the U Cavs take her out giving him the opportunity to get behind them and take them out. But the U Cavs are tricky and agile. Hal thinks of a new way to take them out. He goes up with his plane, till he reach a point where the U Cavs can't follow him. Then Hal takes out all three flying jets. Hal remembers what happened to his father that day and loses control of his plane but manages to escape at the last moment before the plane crashed. Back at Ferris Company, Hal is berated for his actions by Ferris President, Carl Ferris, Carol, and also Bob. When Carol asked him what happened to him on the plane and how he lost control of it, he told her the engine broke down. A bean sar then crash lands on Earth with his life, reaching its end, a bean sar commands his ring to find a worthy successor on the planet. A green light comes out of his ring and enters Hal's chest. Who was talking with his nephew Jason who loves him so much. But Jason was sad from Hal because he didn't come to his birthday party. While leaving Hal has whisked away to the crash site where he met with a bean sar who appoints him a green lantern and tells him to take the lantern and speak the oath to become the protector of this sector. Hal calls his friend to pick him up. Tom comes then Hal tells him about the alien and the ring. They both escape before the Department of Extranormal Operations arrives to excavate the site. Going back to Planet Oa. Sinestro was talking with the Guardians. He tells them that a bean sar was killed by Parallax and he is now destroying the galaxy. Then he asked them to let him fight Parallax and they agree. Meanwhile, after being summoned by the Dio and Amanda Waller, teacher Hector Hammond performs an autopsy on a bean sore's body. But a piece of Parallax's DNA inside the corpse injects itself inside him and gives him telepathic and telekinetic powers at the cost of his sanity. Hector feels happy because they give him this chance and tell Amanda that, with this discovery, all the universe will change now but before leaving, Amanda tells him that all this should stay in secret. Hal tries to charge his ring home, but he can't, and after a few tries, he says the oath of the green lanterns, while under trance from the glow of the lantern. 
Carol knocks on the door, but Hal refuses to let her in, and he invites her for a drink. Carol tells Hal that she checked the information of the plane after he leaves. But she couldn't find any problem with the engine. Hal gets angry and leaves her, while going to his car he fights with the UCAV pilots after getting a severe beating from them. Hal uses the ring's power to knock all three out with a huge fist of green energy. He is then automatically flown into the air by the ring and out of Earth's atmosphere before entering space and then passing through a wormhole to the planet Oa. After waking up with a strange green skin over him similar to a bean sars an alien named Tomer come and greet him, he told him that the ring chooses you and brings you here also you are the first human chosen. Then both of them fly and Jordan feel so excited. While flying he asked Tomer Ree, what is this green energy, he told him it's the energy that's generated from the central battery of the planet. And its power comes from the will of every living creature in the universe. Also, it is the strongest source of energy in the universe. He takes him to a Green Lantern meeting at the Great Hall led by Sinestro. Where he informs the Green Lanterns by the death of a bean saur and the creature Parallax. Then he chooses three strong warriors to go with him to fight Parallax. Tomer Ree takes Hal to the training levels he starts teaching him the basics. Then he meets Kilowog who is the chief trainer who immediately begins testing Hal and showing him that his opponents won't be fighting fairly, he also tells him to be careful from the gravity of the sun. Sinestro then arrives to see the human and test him personally, after defeating him easily in combat, is dismissive of him and says he is not worthy of being a Bean Soar's successor. Realizing his weakness and fear, Hal chooses to keep the ring. However, he returns to Earth and gives up the fight with the Green Lanterns. Hector was given a lesson while he starts discovering his new abilities. He was able to read people's minds and he hear a student saying that his lesson is really boring. He throws the student from his place just with his view power. Hector ends the lesson and goes to the laboratory to test his blood and he discovered the presence of yellow particles that began to spread in his blood. His father sent him a message and tell him to meet him in the office. He meets him. At that moment Hector was able to read his mind and discovered that he was only chosen to do the autopsy due to his father's influence. Meanwhile, Sinestro attacks Parallax, but he got defeated and all the warriors with him get killed. He goes back to the Guardians and gives them the report. One of the Guardians tells him that the power of will won't be able to defeat darkness and suggest they use the power of fear. He also tells Sinestro that Parallax was once one of their own until he desired to control the yellow essence of fear only to become the embodiment of fear itself. Going back to Earth. Bob was celebrating his new contract with the Air Force military. Hal meets Carol, Hector saw them and feels jealous. He wait till Hal leaves then he approaches Carol and starts telling her about the alien. His father comes and stops him and he gets angry. Hector resentfully attempts to kill his father by hitting the tail of his helicopter with a pipe while he was leaving the party. However, Hal uses his ring to save the senator and all guests at the party. Then he saves his childhood sweetheart, Carol, and leave while people was recording him. Hector goes back home he feels angry because he couldn't kill his father and his body starts transforming into an alien. Later, Hal visits Carol and she recognizes Hal under the suit and mask, but she couldn't believe that. Hal tells her all the story. Meanwhile, Hector saw everything, he go back to the laboratory and did a new test of his blood, he realized that all his blood is now yellow. At this time Amanda comes and takes him with her to the laboratory, where he met with his father who promises him to fix everything. Hector gets mad and tries to attack him, but the doctors stop him and injected him with a sedative needle. Meanwhile, Hal was thinking alone, and the ring gives him a sign of danger. Hector wakes up, kills a doctor and Amanda then frees himself and puts his father in his place. Before killing him Hal comes. He fights Hector, but Hector was strong, after touching Hal he reads his memory and knows everything then he burns his father. Hal touches Hector's head with his ring, and at this moment Parallax feels the presence of a bean saw ring and decides to attack Earth to destroy the ring of the one who was able to defeat him before. 
Hal then realizes the Parallax is heading to Earth. He talks with Tom and Carol, tells them about Hector who kills his father. He also tells them that the ring made a mistake by choosing him, he is weak. Carol said to him that he is courageous and can overcome fear, and she believes in him. Meanwhile, Parallax order Hector to kill Hal. He decides to go back to Planet Oa to ask for the Green Lantern's helps. Sinestro requests for the Guardians to forge a ring of the same yellow power, preparing to concede Earth's destruction to Parallax in order to protect Oa. However, Hal appears and tells Sinestro not to use the yellow ring and for the core to help him protect his planet from Parallax's imminent invasion. They deny Sinestro request, but allow Hal to return and protect his home planet. After returning to Earth, Hal comes to find that Hector has kidnapped Carol and plans to inject her with Parallax's DNA unless he hands over his ring to him. Hal agrees and hands it over as Hector releases Carol. Hector tests out the ring which blasts a hole before he points it at Hal, but it doesn't work. Because the ring can be used only by the person who chews him. Parallax then arrives, consuming Hector's life force for failing to kill Hal, and then starts killing people in the city. Hal arrives and after taking back his ring he battles with the monster, even drawing strength from his new calling's oath to face the foe. Having gained his enemy's full attention, Hal decides to take Parallax away from Earth. Toward the Sunday then he uses the gravity of the sun to pull and disintegrate Parallax. After seeing him burn Hal loses his consciousness. But Sinestro show up and save him. Hal goes back to the Earth and talks with Carol. He tells her that he is now the protector of the Earth and he still has a lot of work to do then he leaves. In the last scene of the movie, Sinestro steals the yellow ring, places it on his finger, causing his green suit to change to yellow along with his eyes. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and turn on the notifications bell.